Hey YouTube, what's up? It's been a while since I've made any videos, but um, I figured I'd come back uh, to make a couple of videos on, a, on a, some knives that I've really enjoyed over the past few months. Um, for those of you that haven't discovered Instagram, I've been over there because it's a lot easier to just uh, put up a picture, a lot less hassle without having to wait for the upload. Um, so anyway, I still watch a lot of YouTube videos. I still have my favorite channels that I'm constantly watching, but um, the reason I'm coming back today is because I have a couple of knives that I've really been enjoying lately, and I feel that um, there's not a whole lot of videos on these knives, so I figured I'd give my two cents on the subject. Um, first of all, let's start off with the uh, Izula. It's a knife by uh, Essie. Um, there's a lot of reviews on this knife um, showing you uh, its use, hard use, uh, kind of like doing the batoning. Um, and uh, I don't use my knives that way. Unfortunately, I don't do a lot of camping, a lot of outdoors. But what I do is I work at the range a couple of days a week. And um, I'm able to use it there, especially with the frames for the uh, targets. So that's where it gets most of its use from. Now, I have never uh, stropped this knife except for when I first got it. It uh, made the knife very, very sharp. Um, it had already come sharp from Essie, but I just figured I'd strop it up. Um, one thing I did notice is that the black uh, coating that it has, it did uh, come off on my compound, on my strop. Um, and when I looked real close, I could see on the edge that it had uh, scraped some of it off. I haven't had any problem with rusting, but I do take care of my knives and I do oil them up. I've been using that dry, uh, that dry, I guess, uh, lubricant or rust protector, and it's been working really well. The only thing I don't like is the smell. Also, um, the Micarta handles are really nice, um, but when you use that stuff on them, it does tend to stain them from the tip right here when I try to uh, protect the engraving. They say that you should use that rust protector here on the laser engravings and uh, obviously on the exposed uh, metal. Real good knife, real good balance on it. Uh, the handle, for me, I have a medium-sized hand. It's pretty much perfect, you know? Uh, no more than I actually need. Um, the other thing I wanted to say about this knife is that uh, it. I tried carrying out a tech lock. It just seemed that the tech lock was just too much for this small knife. So lately, I've been carrying it in my pocket. The only thing I worry about is moisture. When you're out there sweating, uh, running around, uh, I do worry about that having it in my pocket. Uh, there's been times when I've carried it in my shirt, in my shirt pocket. I have one of those 511 shirts that kind of conceal um, anything you want to hide in there, and I carry it in there. But I do notice that some moisture tra uh, transfers over to the micarta handles. I mean, they are porous, pretty much like a sponge, so they're gonna absorb that moisture, that sweat. Okay, so anyway, uh, highly recommend this knife to anyone that's uh, looking for a fixed blade knife. The the blade is um, is the perfect working length for an EDC knife, by the way. Now, I don't know the legality of it about, you know, carrying it here in California. I am a law enforcement officer, so I really don't have to worry about that too much. But uh, just so you know, I believe these do have to be exposed or on your belt. They can't be in your pocket. So anyway, you might want to check your local laws. Okay, so I picked up this um, a few weeks ago for my birthday. Uh, I haven't gotten the scales for it because I thought maybe I would just use it as a minimalist knife. And um, the by the way, the sheath is very, very nice retention on it. It's kind of hard to get out to be honest hopefully I'll have to use two hands because I'm using my phone okay give me one second here okay so that's how hard the retention was obviously it's uh, kind of tight in there as you can see this one is in tan and <clears throat> the plastic from the sheath has been rubbing off on the sides um, and that's where the retention comes from basically this little area right here so the knife is very very small I mean it's a great neck knife um, and what I found is that um, it's it comes very sharp by the way but what I found is that without those micarta handles to bulk up bulk up this area right here it's not the most comfortable knife to use granted you're not going to be using it for heavy duty tasks because it is such a small knife but as a utility knife, it works great. I am going to be ordering the Micarta uh, scales on it. And I'm sure that's going to make a difference because everyone says it does on YouTube. So I do trust everyone's reviews on that. 
So here's another little look at it. Uh, attractive little knife. I kind of messed up. I was originally ordered in the earth color. The dark, uh, I think it's called uh, earth, earth brown or something. Uh, but I accidentally ordered the tan. I really didn't want the tan. But um, now that I have it, it's not bad, I guess. I prefer the darker colored, uh, darker colored coating. So, so I'll be waiting for those Micarta handles, and I can give you a little better idea of uh, of how it performs with the handles. I haven't done any major cutting with it, uh, just some minor stuff, just to test the sharpness of the blade. And it holds the same way as its bigger brother, the Azula. So you're looking at the Kandiro and the Azula 2, both by SE, um, USA made, and one of the best warranties in the business. Um, I went down to my local knife shop and uh, I picked um, this one up there and this one I bought online I was just looking for the best price and you know how it is when you go through Amazon uh, you get that two-day free shipping so you can't beat that anyway guys um, have a good uh, holiday season have a good Thanksgiving next week I hope everyone is safe and enjoying their knives take care thanks for watching